showed up. It's that time again. I am so freaking psyched to get this one open. It's Clio this time. Now, full disclosure, this actually arrived like about two weeks ago at the time of filming this, but I just have not had the time nor the energy to open this on camera until now because I wanted to open it on camera because I wanted all of you to experience it with me and to witness the inevitable screaming and crying that's going to be happening. So let's get this box open, first of all. The box is a little different this time. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. It, it is it is such the perfect shade of gold. I'm sorry, these boxes never fail to just stun me. Just, ah, uh, they're so gorgeous. So again, we have the front panel on the box and we've got, for Cleo, we've got a scarab beetle, a little heart with bandages, got a diamond, and her little skelet at the bottom. Everything just is so gorgeous, so beautifully detailed. Like we've, like here we've got a cobra with some gems and what looks to be um, a headdress that might actually be the headband that she's wearing. I'm pretty sure these are also the earrings that she's wearing. So that might be the headband as well. Oh. This one doesn't have tape on the sides, so I guess we just lift and, and open. Okay, we gotta do the shimmy dance. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> watch, watch, I'm, I'm, I was about to do a countdown. Watch there be the paperwork right in front of her face. Okay, three. Two, one. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so what happened was the paperwork was like, it was still stuck to the inside of the lid. And I'm assuming it was like this and it just yanked off with the thing. And I was like, I didn't know where it went for a second. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, her face. I cannot. Y'all, are you, are you seeing this right now? Look at her eyes. Oh my freaking God. They are stunning. Oh my God. Look at the makeup. Oh, oh my word. Oh, uh, and the hair, the tinsel is perfect. And, and yeah, I was right. Look at the headband. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's so friggin' beautiful. Oh, my word. The princess has come home. Oh, my stars. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry in the slightest. Okay, I did just go to show her to mom real quick before I took her out of the box because Cleo is actually one of her favorite characters, probably her favorite from Monster High. And the notable comment from her reaction was, take that Nephora. <laughs> Which is saying a lot because she also loves Nephora a lot. Um, like the original, uh, the signature Nephora doll is probably one of her favorites from the whole Gen 1. Okay, 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 okay. As we do, we start with the literature. Oh my Ra, where have you been? I've been waiting centuries. Okay, maybe not centuries, but given my royal stature, I have been kept waiting for far longer than what is acceptable. I'm sure you're dying for a full recollection of what I've been wrapped up in. Father always said because we are of royal birth, it is our duty to always look our absolute best. 
I'm totally fulfilling my royal duty with this drop-dead gorgeous, glittery, mummy fringe robe. My jogger set is fit for a queen with a golden mummy-wrapped halter and matching high-waist pants. With chic scarab shoes and accessories, this outfit is enough to make a monster unravel. Claudine Wolf certainly outdid herself designing this look. Don't you dare tell her I said that. <laughs> Lest you've forgotten, Cleo Denial waits for no one. So let's creep out again soon, shall we? Diamond Cleo Denial. I am so sorry that was a terrible impression of Cleo, but I, I, I started and I couldn't stop. And then on the back, we have the Certificate of Authenticity. Once again, designed by Rebecca Shipman. Love her, love her, love her. And... Once again, we have the diary in the pocket on the lid. And on the front, it says, the punishment is quite severe for reading a royal diary without permission. And once again, I will not be looking at this today. I may have the energy to unbox, but I do not have energy to open that can of worms. So with that all said and done, let's turn you over get you out of there girl take this off first i've god it's only been a couple months and i've forgotten the whole process and we'll flip you over just for a moment oh man and all of them are covered with tape this time too all of the like tabs and the, the plastic things yeah the back of this is gonna get a little bit torn up unfortunately that's what happens when you use tape on cardboard so how's everyone doing? How's everyone been surviving since that movie trailer dropped? <laughs> Honestly, I have so many mixed feelings. Mainly, I think I'm just, I mean, I think a lot of us, we're, we're all in the middle of the fog of realizing that Monster High is now becoming a franchise that has multiple generations. Like, you know, if, if you just got the one reboot, that's one thing, but this is going to be, I mean, at, le at least the cartoon that's going to go along with it, it's gonna be generation three. And that's a whole lot different than than just having two. And I think a lot of us are, are just struggling to to come to terms with, with the fact that Monster High is one of that ilk if that makes sense which which can be t tough to swallow sometimes and honestly i sometimes just get the feeling that like the my little pony fans for example who have been dealing with this kind of stuff for years either they're rolling their eyes at us or they're just like yeah man i know i know how you feel it's just a matter of you know it's not back in the exact same way that it was but i i don't know part of me thinks that you can't really no matter how hard you try, I don't think that you can really recapture. Really? I don't think that you really can recapture that magic back when it was, you know, the hot new thing back in 2010, 2011. Good grief. Whoever decided that putting tape on the back of this thing was a good idea, I'm going to hunt you down. And it's it's gonna be pistols at high noon, I'm telling you. But anyway, the trailer itself, I'm I'm mixed. I'm very mixed. But the bottom line, the absolute bottom line, Heath Burns looks good. Heath Burns looks good. That is Oh, that's I'm not gonna say that's all I care about, but man, that is such a weight off my shoulders. Like let my sweet weird boy Heath live. I am I am so just chuffed to bits with how he looks. Now Deuce's costume on the other hand can burn in a fire, but that's, we don't need to go into that right now. Oh yeah, and absolutely place your bets. How many of those stupid peg things do you think are gonna be bolted into our head? Ooh, 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 ooh. Is, that, is that it? Hey! Oh, there's only three. Well, that's not too bad. And she is getting glitter everywhere and I would expect absolutely nothing less. Get that 
out of here. Oh. Okay, her hair definitely needs a brush. A little bit of a brush, but ooh. Oh. 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 Oh, my stars. Come on. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh! Oh, it's so cute. There is one wrapped around her, um... What, what, what would we even call this? Your garter for your eye coffin. You know, like you do. Okay, yeah, and there's... Uh, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this absolute f tomfoolery right in the middle of her skull? Right next to her headband. God. <laughs> uh. Yo, people in charge of packaging at Mattel Creations. Why? Big fat why? I finagled it a little bit, but honestly, it's so freaking close to the top of her head and the headband right here that honestly, I, I do not feel safe trying to cut it off. I'm, I'm too scared that I'm going to damage her hair in some way and I would feel absolutely disgusted with myself. So it's just going to have to sit there for the time being and probably forever. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this as lightly as possible. I'm just trying to get the, the shape of the hair protector out of it. She is just killing it. No matter what it is, she is killing it. She can kill anything in this. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part, getting the stand out of the box. Once again, hate that I have to cut those things to get this out. It is what it is at this point. So this goes in there. And there she is, ladles and germs. Oh my stars, gorgeous. Stunning, amazing. So now we come in for the close up. So, starting from the top, as you can see, she has this gorgeous long black hair that has gold tinsel strung pretty much all the way through it. And she's got blunt bangs, and the back is actually ends in a blunt cut as well. And on the top, she has this beautiful teal colored headband with a, a deep blue stone in the middle and there's some gold beading on the back of it and, and you can see on the side there's some ridges to it it looks like fabric that's been pulled up and and wrinkled and then her face her face is just absolutely gorgeous in my opinion She's got these deep, deep blue eyes, like deeper, a deeper blue than I think we've ever seen on Cleo before. Usually they're kind of a, of a light blue, um, but these are very, very deep blue. And she's got gold eyeshadow on the brow bone and right under her bottom lid. And then there's some, what I would call sea foam green well no i would i would actually classify that as teal um there's some teal eyeshadow and then what? oh no there is actually a a stripe of green that's right on her lid and then we've got the little um the marks on her eyeliner i i don't i don't know the correct term for it and i'm sorry but you you know the type the uh, the traditional um, Egyptian makeup, that kind of eyeliner. Again, with the with the rooted lashes that I am so obsessed with on these Haunt Couture dolls, I think they look spectacular. And she's got a blue gemstone on her cheek. And the lips are actually just painted in the center. And they're kind of a dark maroon burgundy-ish color, I would say. And the earrings on the sides are, again, teal with kind of a gold. It almost kind of looks like 
it's been dry brushed on top, kind of a gold uh, accent, and then where they actually connect to her ear again with those darker blue gems. And they're kind of, they almost kind of look like a spider's web that's coming out from, from that top point. And she's got the same on both ears. And then she's got a choker here that matches with the accents on her top. And it's actually got two um, strands of wrapping that come off the back. And the wrapping matches the jacket that she's wearing. And it's got all of these geometric details that are covered in blue glitter. And those come out the back. And then we have this top in this gorgeous gold uh, would 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 we call this ruching? I don't know, but there's there's definitely like a a manufactured texture to it and it's also got all of these little gold reflective bits in here. But we've kind of it's sort of like structured like a tube top, but it's also got these little crisscross pieces that come up over her chest here. And then the jacket again has those same wrapping trim pieces coming off the sleeves. And the jacket is actually fairly short and it just ends right here, I would say, just below her bust. But the silhouette it creates is definitely not small. And the pants are made in the same material as the top. And these are high-waisted, as the card said earlier. And there's a little faux zipper on this leg. And if you come down, then there are these little gem pieces on each on the side of each leg. And then back up here, she has a small shiny gold bracelet on this hand. And it just is open at the back. And the belt is in a teal green color and it's kind of got these crisscross um, lines with little gold beads. And there's a little chain that's stuck onto this side that is in that deeper blue. And it looks like we've got a beetle, a pyramid, and a snake coming off of that. And that snaps in the back. And then on this leg, we have the thing that I was trying to find a name for earlier, the, the cell phone garter. Um, and it's very similar to the one that is on her signature doll from G1, um, but it's just positioned a little lower on, uh, on this doll. It's like right above her knee where it's usually like kind of around her thigh, um, I would say like about here. Um, and this one, the phone in it is actually that deep blue where it used to be all of this would be in gold, save for these little black gems. And, and I forgot to mention the pants um, right behind these color shift gems. We've also got more of that um, glitter wrapping. And that's on both sides. And then at the bottom here, oh my gosh, these shoes. Okay. <laughs> so the shoes are in the, the teal blue color and they have shiny gold scarabs kind of kind of at the focal point of the shoes shall we say and there's also some gold beads that go around in various places and it's got it's kind of an open toes sandal situation and then at the back if you can see there um there's more texturing like it's um wrapping like it's wrapped up in bandages and there's a little bow made out of the wrappings at the very back of the heel and I think that's so cute it's such it's such a sweet little touch it's strangely innocent 
which is not usually a word that you would associate with Cleo, or at least what, you know, what she tries to project. Um, if, if you know, you know, Cleo, Cleo can have her soft sides too, but I don't, I don't know something about Cleo in bows specifically, just, I, I don't know. It, it never occurred to me to, to put her in something that would have a bow, you know, like a traditional, you know, bunny ears, girly girl type bow, but I think it, it works in this instance. And I think it's really, really cute. And it just, uh, and, and, you know, the whole rest of the outfit is just going so hard and it's, it's just giving you such supermodel. I think it's, it's nice that at the bottom there's there's just that little bit of of softness there just in the very back i like that i really like that also we have her bag her backpack um once again in a very similar kind of faux leathery material as the um other backpacks in this line and um, this one has actually got these little wing flaps on the sides. Um, I'm assuming to look like scarab wings and it, you can obviously see there's this very detailed blue scarab beetle painted on the front. And that is gorgeous. And the straps in the back. And it's uh, this one is just perpetually open. It, um, it doesn't have a little piece of Velcro that you can fasten it with. Um, but that's okay, because it's really pretty. And last but not least, her brush in the shiny gold that matches the base of the stand. And I'm sorry about this lighting. The, the sun's going down and I didn't think to close my blinds, but we're here now. So my favorite thing about Cleo I mean, this headband, God, if that, if that thing wasn't there, I would be able to sleep at night. Um, this headband is just giving me absolute life. I think it's gorgeous. I think it gives her like that art deco vibe that we know that Cleo can pull off so well. The earrings are absolutely stunning. They, they just feel like kind of a... I, I wouldn't even necessarily say a step up. Well, no, absolutely a step up because of the multiple colors that we're working with. A step up from her signature earrings. Honestly, I thought I thought I would be more wowed by the jacket of all things, just because, you know, it is, it's got so much real estate on her silhouette. But honestly, I keep coming back to the shoes. Like they're, they're so just, killer in the front but then you turn him around and she's like wait i'm 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 a little bit soft so be be gentle with my heart <laughs> which i love i love that i'm looking at this doll and it's kind of like if signature cleo and ghoul's rule cleo kind of had a baby i had no idea what they were planning to do with Cleo. I felt like there were a million different ways that they could have gone, but this feels very much like something that she would wear. And that has stayed true with um, with the rest of the Haunt Couture line, as far as I'm concerned. It, like They all still very much look like something that all of the girls would wear, just kind of turn up the knob a little bit, you know? <laughs> Not not as much crying in this one as I thought there was going to be, but but when I get her on the shelf with the others and um, and then when when a certain someone gets here and we complete the line, <laughs> oh that's sad to say. Um, then then there very well may be some crying, but <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Have I mentioned her face? Her face. The makeup is and the eyes and just the detail. And everything is just so freaking stunning. It is it it is it is what she deserves, honestly. 
okay well in that case i am going to get some glamour shots that you will have already seen by this point to put at the front of the video i hope that you have a fantastic day thank you so much for hanging out with me while we busted her open and and looked over her in all of her glory um and and just thank you so much for for hanging out on the channel in general i hope that you're having a good time or if this is your first time watching us then i hope you definitely um consider to stick around and see if if we could have some more fun together <laughs> and i love you all very much and i will talk to you soon bye bye Mwah! Mwah! Kisses. <laughs> okay